Here we have a GrowWatt inverter, and you can see on the um, we got a red fault light here, and on the screen it actually comes is coming up with no AC connection. Now what that means is it's not detecting any electricity from the power grid or from your switchboard. So uh, a few things need checking there. Now what I'd recommend you always do first off is, is check if you've got an inverter AC isolator at your inverter, just check that that's in the on position. You can see that's turned on there. We'll just flick that off and so that's in the off position there. We'll just flick that back on. So you need to make sure that's in the on position because if that was off, it would make it this uh, no AC connection fault come up. And you want to check the solar supply main switch in your switchboard as well. So check that that's in the on position as well. Uh, if both of those things are on and you're still consistently getting this issue and you don't have a blackout either, um, if, if you've got a blackout then this error will come up as well. So if you don't have a blackout and you've checked both these switches and they're, they're all on and you're still getting this issue, what you're going to need is a solar accredited electrician to come and have a look at your system. What, they, what they're going to need to do is check that you are actually getting uh, the right voltage from the electricity grid into the actual inverter. If you're not, we know that it's a problem with either the circuit breakers or some of the connections somewhere. Uh, if you are getting power there, we know that it's an issue with the actual inverter, which will need to be uh, looked at. So, uh, look, if you're on the Gold Coast or South East Queensland and you've got this issue, Gold Coast Solar can certainly help. Don't hesitate to give us a call. And look, I hope this video has been helpful for you. Thanks very much for watching.